Wait a minute. I know exactly how I'll get her to leave. How? What does she love most in the world next to me? Me. Yeah. No, no, her family. Are you ready for our picnic, Master? Huh? Oh, uh, in just a minute, Jeannie. Uh, Roger was just telling me about his family, weren't you, Roger? Oh. Oh, yeah, family. About how, how your mother and your father and how you haven't seen them in a year and you missed them, you know. I haven't seen my mother and father in a year and I miss them. Well, I have not seen my mother and father in 1,000 to... Well, I would rather not say. It must be hard on them, Jeannie, not seeing you. Oh, yes. We have always been a very close family. Oh, I would love to see them. Oh, I get it. Look, you're going to trick her into it. <laughs> Too bad you can't visit them, at least for a little while. I'm sure they'd enjoy it. Hmm. So would I. And my little baby sister. Your little baby sister? No kidding. She must be grown by now. Hmm. I suppose so. Master, would, uh, would you mind if I went back for a visit with my family? Uh, well, you're still the old master. <laughs> <laughs> How long would you be gone, Jeannie? Oh, uh, a week. A week? Well, that's not very long. Why don't you take two or maybe even three? Oh! You are the most wonderful, marvelous master in the whole world! Shh, look out! <clears throat> Come in. Uh, excuse me, Major. Uh, sir. I'm Sergeant Ben Roberts. Can I talk to you a minute? Oh, sure, sure. Come on in. Well, I gotta be running along anyway. Mother and father. Oh, clever. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, what's on your mind, Sergeant? You'd like a cup of coffee? Well, it'd be nice. Uh, I'm afraid uh, this might sound a little bit foolish, and I wouldn't even bother you. No, no, no. Go ahead. Go ahead. Tell me what's on your mind. Well, I was in uh, Dr. Bell's office this morning. I heard him tell me that you could control the weather. <laughs> Uh, well, now, you, you, you ought to know that nobody can uh, control the weather. Well, that's what I thought, and I'd have forgotten about it right then and there, except that uh, he was so positive about it. Yeah, well, I think maybe you, you misunderstood him, Sergeant. Uh, anything else on your mind? Oh, no, sir. Uh, I'm sorry again to bother you, Major. I hope you'll excuse me. Oh, yeah, that's all right. It was just the only way I could think of to save my brother. Uh, to, to save your brother? Well, yes, sir. Uh, my brother and uh, my sister-in-law, they got this ship home in Four Corners, Alabama. Yeah. And it ain't much, but it's all they got in the world. Uh, anyway, I got this letter from my brother yesterday yeah. uh, saying as to how they're going to lose that barn. But you see, there's been a terrible drought down there all year. Not a drop of water. All his crops is drying up and blowing away. So when I heard Dr. Bell was talking about you, I... Uh, uh, excuse me again for bothering you, sir. Oh, that's all right, Sergeant. Well, here, here, this is... <laughs> Sorry. Oh, that's too bad. Well... He was such a nice man. Oh, yes, yes, I know. And his brother is going to lose his farm if we do not do something. Uh, well, Jeannie, there's not really anything we can do about it. I mean, there's nothing we can do without getting in an enormous amount of trouble. Now, you just, you just go and visit your mother and father and, and be happy and have a wonderful time. Hmm? Oh, I will. Good. Well, what, what was that, what was that for? <laughs> you will see, Master. Bye-bye. Yeah, uh, Jeannie.